Okay, so let's assume that you're starting in Visio with a blank document. Uh, and so it should look something like this. And uh, let's say we want to make a flow chart. So what I would do is click on more shapes, uh, choose flow chart, and then choose basic flow chart shapes. And then we'll see over here in the left, I have a set of shapes. And the way that I get a shape into Visio is that I simply click and drag it in. Okay, so uh, this would be my start. Uh, and in here I can type start. You can see that that's very small. So I might want to, uh, first of all, zoom in further. Uh, but I also might want to change the font size to reflect uh, the actual size here. So I can do that by clicking on the font uh, and then choosing the size. Um, other thing I can do is then uh, add something like a process here. Okay, uh, let's say I have a decision following that. You'll see that uh, as I drag over, it will let me line things up nicely. I could do that. Um, and then I can have an end right here. Um, if I needed to add an input in, I could do that by doing that. So uh, let me select everything and move it down and move this uh, input in right there. Okay, um, and then the next thing I might wanna do uh, is uh, start connecting uh, these lines. And you'll see that the way the flowchart works is that uh, if I choose connector, it lights up the places that I can connect to easily. And so I can just drag between. Uh, let me hit escape for a moment. Uh, choose the pointer tool, click on that line. Um, and you'll see that that line's really small, so I might want to increase the weight by coming to line uh, and increased weight. Um, and then I also am going to want to add an arrow to tell me which direction this is going. Uh, remember that flowcharts aren't very meaningful without arrows. Okay, uh, and then usually I like to uh, just copy and paste uh, connectors uh, rather than uh, going back to the connector tool because uh, I've already formatted one. Another thing I might do is change this from a right angle connector to a straight connector, um, again, just to make my life easier. Okay, so uh, I would connect these things up. Uh, I could, of course, add uh, font uh, and text to each of these uh, if I so chose. Um, and uh, after doing so, after connecting these all up, the other thing I can do is change the line size on each of these uh, um, items. So I can make it so it matches the line weight or comes close to matching the line weight of the in-between part. Um, and in general, uh, that's how you do it. So uh, you can also, go back here if you choose a right angle connector say you're at a decision and you need to come back to an earlier point you can do so uh, by using the right angle connector uh, you can again format that line uh, with an appropriate arrow and with an appropriate weight all right um, and that's pretty much all there is to it uh, it's just a matter of making sure that your flow chart in general is correct uh, and you know using uh, some of those tools within Visio.